YouTube. <laughs> Double neck guitar. 12 string and 6 string. Duh, 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 duh. Ooh. Candy apple red. Uh, I added this switch. Um, a standard it came without. This, this switch is already there, but it was actually just a pickup selector for these pickups. That's a pickup selector for these pickups. So the only way to switch between the necks was to use the volume controls, which, if you can imagine, blasting through stairway, coming up to the solo, turn it down, oh, turn it back up, turn the other one up. Oh, oh. Right, so now I've got, that's now the pickup selector switch for this. That's a down, that neck, up, this neck, in the middle, both. Um, yeah, so this, I've seen one of these badged a Tanglewood. It's on eBay just now. Um, it's so the back of it, I've got it on. Maple necks, um, bolt on necks. I moved the strap button, well, the, I haven't moved it, I've got another strap button on here because this guitar was completely unplayable using the strap button it comes with. Uh, I'll show you here. So, this is with my new strap button. Okay, it's a wee bit hangy, but it's still, you know, that's alright. You can play that. If you put it onto this strap button. You really, you have to hold the guitar, I'm not talking about holding up half the guitar, I'm talking about holding the whole guitar up to play it, so you can't actually move chords, you have to, you can only play open chords because I'm actually physically holding the guitar up, you know, yeah, so if you've got one of these, do that, very worthy mod, that and the neck switch, because the neck switch was, um, I think uh, just because the 12 stringers got 12 strings, the pickups have got an awful lot more sound to work with so they're much louder 12 strings much louder than the six string um i don't know about louder it's just much fuller so when you're trying to mix between the volumes ideally you want to have this guitar up full and this one down you know at eight or nine which just mean, matches the two of them together make some noise with it um, i wanted to i bought this because i've, I've never actually played a, a double neck that i didn't build i've got i've built a couple of them i wanted to see what what the pros built. Actually, well, I suppose.
shorter than my normal ones so I'm going to sell this uh, I think I've got a bad vibe about it not a bad vibe about it I don't like when people put certain logos in the heads of guitars when they're clearly not what the, the logo says they are um, I don't know someone's told me this is a, actually a Chipson it even says Made in America on the back um, so I don't know it's not a fake because a fake would look like the Gibson model Whereas this doesn't. Um, anyone who's ever seen a Gibson one, it's not the same shape. It's you know a different layout. It doesn't have maple necks and bolt-on necks, so anyone's gonna know it's not a Gibson. So I don't see what the point in writing that is on it. But anyway, I didn't. Uh, I haven't taken a belt sander to it. Although, if I was decided to keep it, I probably would. Um, it's actually amazing, just in the last couple of days, I actually started getting used to it a bit more. I think the guitar's actually coming to life a bit more. I think uh, when guitars have sat without strings on them, I, think, I reckon this has been sitting for 10 years. It was somebody's failed project. I think when they got the Gibson put on the headstock, they um, lost two of the machine heads. Two of the machine heads are slightly different. Well, if I pick off that bit of white. They've still got the white seal on because they're new, but um, they're not quite the same as the other ones. But, I mean, so it's machine heads, you'd have to be really looking for it to notice. Um, what else put this in there? I can't even remember. I am getting used to it, but um, I've just got a thing about 12 string electric guitars. Um, I've had one, I had a Hondo one that I had for, I've always wanted one, I tried making one and it sort of failed one that tuned, uh, the six, the thin strings tuned from here with machine heads, but um, it's dead difficult to keep strings on them because I've got far too many guitars and the thing about 12 strings is because they're really thin strings and you can't buy elixirs for it uh, they go rusty after a couple of months so if you don't play it all the time but that's the same for all 12 stringers it doesn't matter whether you've got the £5,000 one or not um, also I just don't find they're that useful for what I play um, but I had to try, to try this because I wanted to see but I upgraded the pickups as well as I probably mentioned them, the ones that were in it were a bit uh, a bit heavy metally. These are a bit more Led Zeppelin-y. Um, I wish whoever it was it put Gibson on the headstock and instead put Gibson pickups in it. That would have been nice. These are a bit more um, sort of vintage voice ones. But I'll jump. Oh, you can see it sitting there. So this is me. This is. Uh, definitely not a Gibson, and I don't want to be in any trouble for saying it is because it is not. Candy Apple Red, rather nice double neck guitar. Um, I'll show you why. And not some. Yeah, man's double neck guitar. Yeah, this is one I made. This is a bass and a guitar. Um, it weighs well three times as much as that. <laughs> but uh, I've. When you build one yourself, it's an awful lot. Of, it's more satisfying than buying one. Uh, yeah. So buy this going on eBay. Uh, weight wise, someone asked me. It's um, actually look, look, look at the balances. Um, that's actually quite. That's that's actually pretty impressive balancing like that. Uh, weight wise, it weighs less than this base. Which is a sort of, I suppose it'd be heavier than a Les Paul, a bit, but it's the same ballpark as, you know, a heavy Les Paul standard. Um, I don't know what kind of wood it's made of. It's, it's solid wood, because you can see where some of it's been routed out. Uh, it'll be basswood, I'd imagine. Basswood, however you pronounce that. Rock on. <laughs> <laughs> 